Can I go to the sleepover? I want you to promise me something. If there's any drinking, I want you to say, no thanks, not my thing. I promise, Mom. They really do hear you. Did you pack your toothbrush? For tips on how to start the talk, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. Welcome, everybody, to this week's News Graphic Sports Show. I'm Cal. We are here at Scott County High School, just outside the boys' locker room, where there's always been a history of Cardinal basketball being a family affair, but this year is perhaps more true than ever. Both Coach Tim Glenn and Assistant Chris Wilhite coaching their sons, Micah and Andrew. Coach Wilhite also has a couple other sons involved in the program. It is made for a very close atmosphere. We hear what they had to say about it all. It's a blessing, for sure. That's one thing uh, Billy told me uh, when 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 he retired. He said, he said, hey Tim, he said, enjoy this time. He said, you know, it's one of the best times of his life. As he, you know, recollected and thought back with his times with Tyler and Mike and I grew up. And, you know, as he's growing up and and playing ball and you get to watch him and you shoot together and do things and you know we, uh, yeah, to, to be able to work at something with a purpose like this um, that, uh, you know, on a, on a, on a good level that, that uh, it's, it's hard to come by. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a blessing. We've, uh, we've coached uh, down as he's growing up. We've coached uh, a lot of the AAU things. We had a little carbs team, we called it, and uh, Coach Will Height and I would kind of flip-flop doing some of those. And it's mainly some of these guys, you know, with, with uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Jay-Z and Nick and, uh, Jeremy and you know so so I've known those guys watched them grow up and that makes it kind of cool too when they were about uh, in the five and six year old league we were on the Suns together I still remember it they, we started playing then and then we moved on from the Suns to the Heat in the next league up then we moved together uh, to the Celtics on the next league up so they played together for a long time me and Mike always played together and then we had an AAU team which is a lot of our team this year um, Jeremy, Micah, Nick, all of them, Jay-Z, we've all been on teams for a long time. Uh, it's all the way back to probably first or second grade. Uh, right out of Upward, I got into league ball, and I think it was the Celtics or the Suns was the first team he coached me on. And he he was with Chris still, and it was me and Andrew, and we were always a pretty good team in league. It's, you know, it has its pluses and minuses. You, you, Sometimes you treat him maybe a little different, a little harder than other kids, and you know, you try to. I've learned, kind of learned over the last couple of years that you know I got to be fair to him, just like everybody else. So he's you know used to get the brunt of a lot of coaching, I guess, and then you know he's kind of you know played himself into different type roles, and uh, just we both adjusted, and we try to. Once we leave the gym, we hardly ever talk about basketball. So we just kind of let it go and, you know, never talk much about the games once we get home. So we just try to get back to normal after that. Uh, my dad always brings it up somewhere, but he says he doesn't, but he definitely does. Oh, yeah, it's a lot. It feels like a lot of pressure, but he doesn't. He just wants me to be the best I can be. I know what Mike is going to say, and he's probably right. And, you know, I, I probably am harder sometimes on Mike. I try not to be. Trish tells me, she says, uh, you know, you got to be fair to him. He's still just your player at that point, and uh, I think I've got, I think I've gotten better. I mean, I like to, I like to use that as a little bit of an excuse. <laughs> um, I call him out on it every now and then, but I mean, I, I think he's gotten a lot better, as he said, as just treating me as one of his players. I'm on the court. What, what I think we're doing now, and over Christmas break, I told the guys the other day, I said. I think, guys, we, we got to start bonding for some consistency because when when we're playing right and we're we're in our spots defensively and we're moving the ball and and taking care of the ball, we're a pretty we're a pretty good team, no no, no doubts. So we've had some glimmers with with Lafayette. It's just almost a perfect storm of a game for us and defensively and offensively, and it shows a lot of the things we do. Frederick Douglass, you know, being able to out rebound those guys by ten. But it's just the up and downs of some of the different parts of basketball that uh, we're and, and we're right there. We've showed each part, so uh, just putting those together. And I think Christmas break is going to be a good time for us to do that. We got some good practice time. We got some space in between games. We got another good tournament, very competitive that we're going to be going to. And and uh, so yeah, I think I think we're in a good spot. Like he said, the the key is consistency. Like we've shown that we can do 
a lot of a lot of good things, but we're just really streaky about it. Uh, we just gotta keep practicing, keep working. Just we gotta make shots. You know, eventually it'll turn around for us. That's all for this week, folks. Thanks for joining us here on the News Graphic Sports Show. Wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and we look forward to the rest of this winter season.